All right, so good morning. It's uh, a few minutes past ten, and I have no idea what my grandfather is up to, unfortunately. We were supposed to take a walk at the tent today, and I called him yesterday evening, but he didn't answer. I left a message. I called him at eight, but he didn't answer, and I've called him a couple of times now, and still hasn't answered. So I have absolutely no idea what's going on, and uh, I think it's a very poor way to, you know, deal with things, considering he knows how I dislike being disappointed, and uh, yeah, he's making me feel quite disappointed at the moment. I would assume it is, uh, you know, at my mother's place and helping her since she's a drunk idiot. But I don't know why he wouldn't answer them. It could also be that he's been drinking and he's ashamed of himself. That is a possibility. Yeah, so I actually did some interval training yesterday evening. I did uh, two kilometers of one map and I did uh, uh, two times 1100 meters in 358 and 341. And I would say that I would probably not go very far beneath the uh, 19 minutes on the 5k at the moment. Uh, the reason that I did that training was because uh, my former club, ES Yata, had a uh, you know, internal competition yesterday on, five, on the 5k and yeah, I just got so anxious because I wanted to be there and at the same time I know that I'm nowhere near as uh, good at you know running fast as I was uh, when I was 18, 19, 20 so that gave me a lot of anxiety So I just have to, you know, relieve that anxiety, so I did a couple of intervals and they felt alright even though my left uh, hip joint still hurt and uh, it also hurt this morning, not that much, since I really tried to, you know, have a proper running technique this morning and that relieved the pain a bit. But, you know, it's still quite tragic to realize that you aren't anywhere near as good as you once was, once were. But that's how it is. And I know that I, I can, you know, achieve things again if I just stick to it and I don't get injured but you know I still have to you know suffer through these painful intervals and all that and the realization that I am not this uh, six, 17, 18 year old who is among the best runners in Sweden because that's not who I am anymore. No, I'm a 26 year old nobody. Or I'm not a nobody, of course, but I'm not, you know, going to accomplish any amazing feats at the track this year. 
I would guess. Because I haven't, you know, done any quality training in a very long time. But I know that you know, sticking to that routine and so it will help. And that's what I have to, you know, take with me. I'm not going to, you know, push myself down because I'm not as good now as I was back then. Because, you know, that's just going to destroy me. Instead I have to, you know, focus on but taking one step at a time. I mean, I ac actually achieved a personal best in how many kilometers I ran in a week last week, so I can still accomplish things. But, uh, and I mean, I can still do a kilometer in <coughs> less than four minutes. So that's something. And I need to just stick to it and build up so I can do it over a longer and longer distance. Meaning that, yeah, interval training is what I'm going to need. And I checked the my club schedule and they are going to you know, do a training session in Palfa in a couple of weeks. I think by then it would be an appropriate time to you know join. And then there's, you know, the whole situation about me being trans. And which rules will apply for me and all that. I mean, I obviously can't compete with a man. But should I be allowed to compete with women? That's the thing. Because the IAF, IAAF says one thing, and the IOC says another thing, and it's, you know, very vague everything. And the people at the Swedish Athletics Federation don't really know either. So what should apply to me? I mean, right now, of course, I'm going to have to compete as a man, since I am legally still male. But next year, when I've filed my papers and so, for changing my legal sex, what then? It's, uh, I don't know. But... I think that it would be good for me if I could be a trailblazer for other trans athletes here in Sweden. And I mean, I am as I am, and I can take a fight even though it will, you know, destroy me. But I can, I, you know, I have such a fighting spirit.
Hmm. But you know the whole situation is hard and I mean I still have to, you know, live my life as well. I can't just, you know, focus entirely on running because I am not an elite runner. I am not, you know, sponsored. I can't live off my running. Who knows what will happen in the future, but right now, that's how it is. And, uh, yeah, I think my... I tried a new mascara today, and you can see my eyes really pop. And I guess that's okay as well. Uh, I got an emotional sting uh, yesterday evening after having completed my intervals and I was, you know, cooling down, jogging home. And there were, you know, two children who were riding a bike in the forest. And uh, is one of them saw me and he asked, are you a boy? And was just like... <laughs> it stung very hard. I ignored the child, but... It's still hard to face, because... I mean, you hope that you pass as a female when you're out. And... So things like that just... hurt you. I mean, I hope to pass as a woman. Otherwise, I... would just give up everything. And I've been very aware I've wanted to give up many times now. You know, how my father has said that people won't see him as a woman. How my neighbor Matilda said that of course people will see your trends and all of that. But it's hard. Still to face things like that. And, I mean, things won't get any easier when I'm competing. If I'm going to be competing as a woman in the future in athletics. Because there is going to be a lot of scrutiny since I'm transgender. But we'll just have to see how things unfold. So, I really don't know what to do today. Because the plan was to, you know, take a walk with my grandfather and... Now, he's away. Or whatever, he's... Unavailable. And my grandmother, she's away with her tractor club and my father is working and I'm a bit angry about him and so my brothers are depressed and I'm here alone he is there and my bed is as it is and that's just how it is at the moment as you can tell, I am having, you know, a bit of a melancholic day today. Where I'm just thinking too much and I really don't have anyone to talk to about things. So that's it. So, bye-bye.